analog devices out with an earnings beat yesterday. Shares, though, down slightly after the semiconductor company warned that global chip shortages will continue for the remainder of this year. Joining us now in a CNBC exclusive is the company CEO, Vincent Roche. And Vincent, I'd love to start with that chip shortage. Uh, you know, you, 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 came, you came back to it on the call a number of times uh, where you basically said it's more likely we'll be operating a constrained supply environment for the balance of the year. Just give me a sense as to what you're seeing and what it's going to mean for your business. Good morning, and thanks for having me. Well, I think what we're looking at is the uh, acceleration of the process of digitalization in the economy, you know, whether it's communications, uh, computing, uh, gaming, uh, obviously areas like factory automation. So I think we're in for a period of acceleration and, um, you know, increasing demand for semiconductors. And uh, so that is, that's good news for the industry. And we're all doing our best to rapidly adjust uh, for us, uh, we have a very agile supply chain. So we actually turned out in our second quarter, we grew 20% year over year. Uh, we have been able to essentially keep up with demand. And um, I think uh, that bodes well for the rest of the year, at least for ADI. But I do think that the industry is going to have to adjust. It takes a period of time to get the equipment in place, to get the capacity in place. Right. Uh, to be able to meet all the, the uh, demand streams that we have here. Yeah. Now, specific to you, I know your CFO on your call said you have enough capacity to meet your guidance, but significant yeah. additional upside versus that guide will depend on your ability to get external wafers uh, as well as the capital that you're in the process of deploying in your internal facilities to, to make that happen, too. Yeah, well, we've done a couple of things. We have a hybrid supply chain. So we make a certain amount. We make about half our silicon inside the company. We make it, we procure about half outside. And, um, you know, we've been capitalizing our business to make sure that we can extend the envelope of possible capacity and supply over the long term. So we feel pretty good about where we are right now. And uh, but we're investing in the business. And yeah. working very, very close with our, with our suppliers to make sure that we can supply the diversity of products that we have that go from factory automation to 5G uh, to computing and server systems, for example. Yeah, you hit all, man, you hit all sorts of stuff that gets investors excited in your call. I mean, you're talking about robots and the future of work, as you point, you're talking about EV and the batteries, because uh, you, you guys have the battery management systems. And as you mentioned, 5G. Vincent, what, what's the most important single component of that uh, in, in terms of the future for this company and what obviously you hope will be growing market and market demand for your products? Well, I think, Dave, the, the theme for ADI, we are a unique company in that we sit between the world of the physical and the world of the digital. And so our job is to translate all those phys physical phenomena like motion, light, uh, sound into signals that can be processed right into the cloud. So that is the game we play, and we have the broadest suite of high-performance technologies. We play a very, very high-performance game. Uh, so you will see our technologies used in everything from smartphones to cobots to electric vehicles, as you mentioned, both uh, uh, in the cabin as well as in the battery structures, for example, monitoring the batteries. So it's a, it's a very, very diverse play, but our game really sits very, very neatly between that physical and digital intersection. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.